So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral from 2 to 3 of 4 plus u squared over u cubed du. So let's just start off by rewriting our integral. So 2 to 3, 4 plus u squared over u cubed. So what we're going to do is simplify this in a form to where it's going to be easier to solve. So we can basically rewrite this as 4 plus u cubed plus u squared over u cubed. And so now that we got it in this form, what we can do is use one of the exponent rules to simplify it even further. So we can write 4 as 4x to the 0 because x, or not x, u to the 0 because we're using the variable u. So u to the 0 is the same thing as 1. And then if we multiply 1 by 4, it's just 4. So we just rewrote the top and then we just write u cubed on the bottom. Now what we can do is use one of the exponent rules. So if we have some variable, uh, the same basis, right? to exponents, we can rewrite it as u to the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So this is u to the 0 minus 3, which is just u to the uh, minus 3. And then we're multiplying by 4, right? Because we have 4 on top. So we can just rewrite uh, 4 over u cubed as 4u to the minus 3. So now that we got that, uh, I'm going to rewrite our integral right, right here. So 2, 3, and it's 4u to the minus 3. Then we still got the second part, so u squared over u cubed. And so we're just going to use the same rule. So u to the top exponent minus the bottom one. So this same thing as u to the minus 1. So let's rewrite that in our new integral. So uh, plus u to the minus 1. And then now what we got to do is actually solve. So we got to find the antiderivative of these. So let's start with this one. So 4u to the minus 3. If we find the antiderivative of it, we add 1 to the exponent, so it's going to become minus 2. So 4u to the minus 2, but we divide, right? Because we got to divide by it. So we divide by minus 2, so it's going to become minus 2u to the minus 2. And then right here, u to the minus 1, what you got to know here is it's something you can memorize or you could tell just by the derivatives before. So we know that the derivative of the ln of u is going to be 1 over u. And so keep in mind that one or u to the minus 1 is the same thing as 1 over u, right? Because we can just move it down. So it's 1 over u, uh, 1 over u. So that means if we take the antiderivative of 1 over u, or u to the minus 1, because they're the same thing, we're going to get the ln of u. But what we get is the ln of the absolute value of u, because, um, because uh, natural logs can only take positive numbers. So when we go back from taking the antiderivative, we have to make it uh, the absolute value of u. So now we've got it like this. We've got our antiderivative, and then we got to check from our lower bound and upper bound. So 3 to 2. So we're going to plug in our upper bound, get a value, minus, and then we're going to plug in our lower bound. And so we're going to take, we're going to subtract our upper bound from the lower bound. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I plug in 3, minus 2 times 3 to the minus 2 plus 11 or ln of the absolute value of 3. So 3 to the minus 2 is the same thing as 1 over 3 squared. And so 3 squared is 9. So 1 over 9, but we're multiplying it by minus 2. So it's going to become minus 2 over 9 plus the ln or the ln of the absolute value of 3. So that's what we've got here. So minus 2 over 9 plus the ln of the absolute value of 3, which is just going to become 3. So I'm just going to write it as the ln of 3. And then what we got to do is minus 2 plugged in. So let's plug in 2. So I'm going to do it up here. So minus 2 times 2 to the minus 2 plus the ln of the absolute value of 2. Absolute value of 2 is just 2. So 2 to the minus 2 is the same thing as 1 over 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so 1 over 4, but we're multiplying it by minus 2. So minus 2 over 4 is what it's going to become, which is the same thing as minus 1 half. So we have minus 1 half plus the ln of 2. So let's write that here. So minus 1 half plus the ln of 2. And so now we're going to combine like terms and then uh, finish off. So uh, this is going to become plus. I'm going to make this plus and then we change the signs on each of these. So this is going to become plus. Then this is going to become minus. And so let's combine minus 
uh, 2 over 9 and 1 half. So minus 2 over 9 plus 1 half. And so we can rewrite 1 half to be over 9 instead, which would become 18 over 9. Or not 18 over 9, 9 over... Uh, it would become... Well, we're trying to get over 9, right? And so this is 1 half. So we can make them both over 18. So if I multiply this by 2, it's going to become minus 4 over 18. And then if we add 1 half and we want to make it over 18, it would become 9 over 18. Because 9 over 18 is the same thing as 1 half. And then we add these up. Minus 4 plus 9 is 5. So it's going to become 5 over 18. So those are going to be the constants added up. So 5 over 18, right? And then that gets rid of this and this. Then we got a plus the natural log of 3. And then we're plusing the minus, so it's just going to become minus the ln of 2. So this right here is going to be our answer. So the answer to this problem is going to be 5 over 18 plus the ln of 3 minus the ln of 2. So that's how you solve this problem.